Um, so first of all, where are you from? How did you get into music? Uh, me, I'm from an area in London called Tottenham. You don't know about Tottenham? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 From Tottenham? Yeah. And from up here? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah, I'm from Tottenham in London. Um, how did I start? The same like everyone else, really, you know, like, there was like a couple of my bridges that started spinning, they had a crew, it was called Combination Camp. Everyone was like, yeah, let's, let's get in, let's do this, we're on pirate radio for a couple years, a good couple years, all the stations, um, Heat FM. We didn't even get on to, you know about like Rinse? We didn't even get on to Rinse, we didn't, Axe, yeah, 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 we, didn't, we got an Axe a couple of times, we done Axe a few times, but it was difficult, because where we're from is North London. And the main stations were in East, so it was like Rinks in East, Deja in East. Um, where were they? They were Havoc, there was Freeze and all that. We couldn't get on with them. So we just had to do what we could do in North on East FM and just build up our buzz till everyone wanted us on the other stations in East and all that. Okay, and you blew up, I mean, kind of, I recognise your name, first of all, from being associated with Gets and Griminal and people like that. How do you know those guys? Um, I knew Scorcher from Heat FM, because he was on Heat with us as well. He used to do a set, what did he used to do? Monday, and I think he was after us or before us, I can't remember. But yeah, Scorcher and that, we, we knew each other from day, so that, that was always cool. Scorcher had an idea, he had links with Getz, Getz was with Merkston, Merkston was with Devlin, and do you know what I'm saying, the whole likes and the whole movement situation. So what we done, we decided to um, try and bring North and East together. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's been segregated for so many years. Let's, pull, let's just bring it together, make a movement. At the time, we all thought we were the best. We all had different stuff to bring to the game. So we kind of just emerged in and we called ourselves the movement. And then that's how that started, really. Okay. Um, you got the retrospective album out now, yeah. yeah? Okay. What's that? Third? That's like the fourth. Fourth. Fifth CD, yeah. Fifth, fifth CD. In terms of albums, though? Oh, album first. Straight. Album. First album. First yeah. album. Yeah. Okay, so why why did you make a jump from doing mixtapes to a, to an album? I think when you keep doing mixtapes, it's not like there's only... It's not like they won't take you that serious, but it's like everyone's waiting for that album. You know what I'm saying? When you're giving out mixtapes or you're selling mixtapes, it's like... Some people look at it like, oh yeah, they're just a promo thing, let me wait for that album. So you build up as much promo as you can, you know what I'm saying? Mixtapes are the key. Cause you've got to start from the ground and work your way up to the sky. Do you know what I'm saying? The plane don't start up there and then touch the ground and start from here and it goes up. So building up mixtapes, I was doing loads of mixtapes. I had a mixtape, um, I had about three mixtapes, we done a movement mixtape as well, and then I thought it was time to drop the album. And I just dropped the album last October. Okay, and how's that going now? It's doing well, it's doing well. I had a bit of problems with the distributor, but who doesn't? I don't know, any of you in here familiar with distribution? Yeah, explain how that's yeah. meant to work. Explain basically, how that's meant to work. Yeah, basically what happens is you're the artist, you go to a distribution company, he gives you a list of things what he's gonna do for you. I.e. get it into all the HMVs, all the Zabbies, you might do you might have a um, digital distributor what might say, okay, we're gonna get you on iTunes, play.com and etc. And um, yeah, let's just say I was supposed to be in all the HMVs and all the Zabbies. But these distributors, they like to talk a lot. That's why you have to go and have different meetings. I had several meetings and I thought I chose the best one, but it goes like that sometimes. But yeah, no, we got in, we got in most of the HMVs. Did anyone from there get retrospective? Did they get to get it? Are you ready? Where did you get it from? J J J I'm I'm iTunes. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but because of the, you see, the day and age that we're in now, it's different, man. Everything can, everything's so easy to do, like. Downloading iTunes and all that, do you know what I'm saying? Like some people don't actually want to walk in the shop and buy a physical CD, but there are still people that are actual just CD collectors. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a CD collector. I won't buy anything off iTunes. I buy in the shop and buy it, and I like to have the physical thing. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? I like. This. Is that affecting your your money though? Because obviously there are lots of people who so say he buys a CD and then he copies it and he copies it and he copies it and he uploads it and then it's that's it. Is that affecting yeah, yeah, your? Have you got to kind of change? the way you're, you're taking the game? Yeah, you do, effectively you do lose money, but um, what people are trying to do now is encourage people to do what they like to do for a cheap price. Now, a lot of people have music on their phones. Do you know what I'm saying? Everyone's got something on their phone. I even write to some songs on my phone sometimes. So what they do now, these distributors have got links with mobile mobile um, companies now. So what they'll do, they'll have the brand new Tinchy Strider single, and you'll text 78789, you text Tinchy Strider to 78789 and get the ringtone for £1.50 or £1.99 or P. So I think, Did in a way... Do you make a few of that though? Yeah, you do, but it's not as much, you know what I'm saying? Because obviously, 
there's so much different cuts. You know what I'm saying? But then once the buzz is there, you get the show. Yeah, yeah, you, you get the shows and yeah, the shows are what? Yeah. Effectively, what you really make money off in music is the shows and your merchandise. Do you know what I'm saying? Like um, a lot of the CD sales, we need to well, you make money off CD sales, but for you to make a lot of money, you need to sell a lot of CDs. So it's all about building up your awareness, building up the buzz, getting your. Say to black people who's trying to get big, like trying to get their self noticed. What, what, I'd what say. Would you say? I'd say, I'd say it was like, yeah, just keep it going, but yeah, you keep it going, but what yeah, it's only so much to take. It takes music's one of them industries that takes money to make it money. Time. It takes time and money. Like the biggest mediums right now is radio and television and internet. So all you can do is make sure your internet presence is as big as it can be. So you need your MySpace, you need a Facebook, you need a Bebo, you need a Twitter, you need a blog. What else is there? Um, I but it, yeah, you need all of them five things. That's a start. What do you reckon about that accident thing? Like, us men keep going up there. Yeah, no, accident, accident, good look, accident, good look. I think all it is, you you see, like, what I'm saying, having all the MySpace and all that. Once you're going on apps, you've got to let everyone know on all stuff. the things. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? So you leave, you leave what I used to do, I'll leave comments on, like, the big MC's pages, like Kano back in the day. I'll leave a comment, like, album coming out in, no, mixtape coming out in four weeks. Because I know everyone goes onto his page. So if they look at these comments, they're gonna see that. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's little things like that. Would you say um, being in London helps? Yeah. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah, it does help. It really does help. I, 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 I go all over the UK, and I notice how hard it's for people outside London to get into the scene. It's really difficult. But I think as long as this is what someone always said to me, they can't deny talent. Do you know what I'm saying? You could have your worst enemy and he could have a song on the radio and you could hate this guy, but you could still say, the song's good though. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, no one can deny talent. So as long as your music's good, that just means the next platform is getting heard. And that's, that's what the hardest thing is. Yeah, that's what the hardest thing is. But there are people, there are stations that are designed for people to hear us. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, the one extra, they try their best to help. Like, um, yeah, that's shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. I don't think people are trying to help you get through it. They're like, right to one extra, shit that ain't even right back. They just uh, you send it straight to the DJs or to like, producers? You know, it's in the bed for people, like, on their end, they're all different shows, obviously, and, like, some of them are trying to manage me and stuff, like, putting it all out there, it's just no reply. It's no reply. Do you know what, do you know what I done? I went to the first DJ that played me on my next show was Cameo. Do you know Cameo? Yeah. Do you know what I done? I literally just went to his shop. It was, um, Uptown Records in Oxford Circus. I think he still works there. And I just gave him a CD. I said, Cam, have a listen to this. He works in a record shop, so I put it on. Started playing it, started nodding his head. He said, where have you been? I said, I only came here when I was ready. Do you know what I'm saying? And then from there, he'll pass it on to one, then one pass it on to one, then one pass it on to Excalibur, then Excalibur pass it on to, then it like, then the, the ball gets rolling, it's like dominoes. You hit one and then they all fall down. But it's just about finding that person who believes in you. you know so I mean, like, we used to get guys just hanging outside the studio. So when you, yeah. you know what time someone shows on, go down there, about an hour, 15, 20 minutes after that, they're gonna come out. So be there ready with the CD and pass it on to them. It's a graph, like in the beginning, there is no glamour. There is no, like, you have to, what, what we had to do, like me and my team over there, mom was us busy well over there. What we used to do, we, we look on the internet, we know how the DJ looks. Okay, he looks like that. He shows on at that time, cool. Like he said, we'll go up to one extra outside. You know, at, you wanna create a certain look like you're not, you're hungry, but you're not just waiting outside. So you might make it look like you was just passing, like, oh, right, it's bumped into you. It's funny, I just happened to have this on me now as well. And, you know, just give it to him. And, with a press release. Yeah, with a press release. And try and get a number, you try and get this, try and get an email. But it's, it's really, it's, it's, it sounds that simple, but it's hard, but it is that simple. It's hard to pass all the way down. It is, it is. Like, you can't obviously just travel up. Yeah, but there are, like, a lot of times I do, like, some DJs, they do want to know like what's going on elsewhere. Like some they just are like that. Yeah, blown yet. But Southampton, there's not people around there doing doing that thing yet. Like, not not no one's blown from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, but you can you can still take over the South Coast. You, you can do Brighton and Portsmouth and. Enough people listening for hours Southampton, but it's just uh, yeah. that's it. It's just, it's just combining. It. It's like with and in terms of like collaborations, yeah. You should just fuck up, man. What's wrong? Huh? I should go up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm easy, man. I'm, I'm real with it. Like, um, like what, I, what I tend to do, like, when I find talent, 
and like I, I try and do whatever I can do to help, do you know what I'm saying at times, but sometimes there is only so much you can do. But what I can do is like my blog, it gets about 4,000 hits a day. So if you've got like YouTube videos, throw it up on the blog, from there people will leave comments, you know what I'm saying, if the, if the feedback's that good then, you know what I'm saying, yeah, so it's like that, it's about when something goes up somewhere, you get all your people to comment it, then people, someone like, someone like Excalibur might look on my blog and say, oh God, these people are from Southampton. Rich just put it on his blog, and there's like 50 comments. Who are they? I need to, he needs to know who you are now, because he's a DJ, and he needs to hear and play new music, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's all little tricks of the trade. Um, I'm thinking, let's, let's, let's hear you do your thing. Have you got a CD on you? Yeah, I've got a CD, I've got a CD. Just happened to have a CD. <laughs> <laughs> just had a press release. Yeah, no, press release. <laughs> and an email, and a, 